This gathering of five string masters is led by Bela Fleck, possibly the brightest star in the banjo world. At least three generations are on stage, including New Jersey's own Tony Trishka. This is, I guess you could say, an unusual sort of concert when you get seven banjo players under one roof at one time. We're having a great time just because we're all old friends and we've all influenced each other in different ways and some of my heroes that I grew up listening to and I still pinch myself sometimes and think he was my hero when I was 16 years old and now we're just hanging up playing music together so it's, it's a great time. The banjo masters arrived at the Count Basie Theater earlier in the day for a sound check and a run through with the backup band. You hearing enough mandolin? They're masters because they've expanded what the banjo can do. Tony Trishka was one of the first to explore new, progressive territory, including jazz and rock. And then I gave some lessons to Bela Fleck. Uh, when he was 16 and he was interested in some of the stuff from my first album. I showed him everything I could show him within a relatively short period of time and then he just sort of went to the moon with it. And then Noam Pakelny heard Bela when he was very young and it blew his mind away and it was just like, I want to do that, what is that? When I was growing up in Chicago, this was in the, in the late 80s, and I started playing banjo, I um, was first drawn to kind of some of these more modern sounds on the banjo. Instead of hearing, you know, I, I heard the Earl Scruggs. I was, I was subjected to that, exposed to that, and, and, and loved that, but all of a sudden I, I heard a banjo player named Bela Fleck, um, who was playing with the, his band the Fleck Tones, and I was hearing these warm, um, sometimes even melancholy sounds coming out of the banjo, and I, I couldn't believe my ears, you know, as opposed to the, you hear things like Bela's song. I think you're about ready there, Tony? Let's give. And from Bela Fleck, I kind of traced back the footsteps uh, of the banjo and went to his mentor, Tony Trishka, who ended up being a, a tremendous influence on me, and then from him went to Bill Keith, um, and from that there are guys like Eric Weisberg and Pete Wernick who all had a profound impact on me playing um, and um, me kind of falling in love with the banjo and, and these are the guys who make up the cast of the show. It's really sweet to, to, to be, be near them and get to um, be considered a peer of theirs. It's the fifth string of the banjo that makes it a unique instrument. When you play guitar, it goes from the highest note. Do, 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 do. It goes down to the lowest note. With the five string banjo, you have this, this peg on the side here, which means this top string is shorter. And because it's sh a shorter length string, it's got a higher note. So you go lower and then that note's high at the top and it acts as a drone string. So when you're playing down here, that whatever's going on down here, That, that you're not fretting that note, so it's not changing, it's, it's just ringing that note. So. this day and age, banjo is no longer something that's kind of frowned upon or looked down upon as a hillbilly instrument. And I think in, in some ways it's seen as uh, something that's hip, which is for me to witness like this uh, progression of 
of it going from something that was kind of seen as a, a rural instrument to something that people now think is cool is pretty interesting. You have one of the biggest bands in the world uh, features a five-string banjo. This band Mumford & Sons from the UK. Um, one of the most successful bands that exists uh, right now. They have a banjo uh, that figures prominently into their music. During the show, I referenced this kind of epiphany when I was a kid of hearing these kind of warm uh, sounds coming out of the banjo when I had mostly been subjected to, uh, to bluegrass uh, banjo. And so this is a song I wrote that is kind of in that vein, and I could play you some of it if you'd like to hear it. Okay. 